Have you checked the high scores for that game? Why are you boasting? Huh? What? I've got the high score right now. What, really? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. It was a rough nightmare for sure. You all look like you're in really bad shape. Nothing's wrong with you? I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, he and Erica are... Uh, anyway, let's, let's have a drink. So what you gonna do with a girl you're cheating with? She doesn't know you're sleeping around with her, right? I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent. I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna propose to. I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah, thanks. What was that nightmare about? You got the oh, liquor's really hitting me today. Erica, she's an angel. More like a demon. Let's hope she's that too. <laughs> You got mail. to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? You can't accept the dishonesty of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? This one? Mr. Justin would say the same thing. Did you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Did you know that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? I see. It's two days until the time of freedom. What are you talking about? You got mail. Pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Huh? Why? She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who is the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. Marriage is two people becoming one. It's the truth. To bear another person's life is very difficult and very frightening. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. What a grisly story. <sighs> Kevin Taylor, age 31. That concludes the current known list of victims. If we learn of any new information... Are you the type to see nightmares, Mr. Brooks? Yeah. Shit, I can't remember them. 
every night I've had them. Women aren't the only ones to get the marriage blues. Man asks everything from a woman, but when done so, he feels she is a burden. To pilfer the ponderings from a certain someone. It doesn't matter anymore. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side. So I'm just gonna settle things. I hope it leads to a good conclusion. And still, Steve's voice. I've heard it somewhere before. You got mail. see me like that yesterday. I mean, is that really what you want? I mean, don't you love him? We're past the age of believing we'll have no problems just because we're in love. You too. But... He's adopted. He's been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through, dealing with pressures all this time. He's a truly pitiable soul. I knew that I wouldn't be able to marry him. And that he was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh, cheer up. Uh, don't patronize me. Goodbye. I'm gonna head home. Spiral corridor tonight. I'm looking forward to it. What the? Hey, tell Johnny and Orlando, okay? All this nightmare talk really worries me. <laughs> I don't believe it. Dreams are just weird. Anyway, you don't need to worry. Okay. All this nightmare talk really... <laughs> anyway, you don't need to worry. Okay. I'll be right back. Johnny looks pretty bad. He always hides his problems from us, huh? But Chief's so cool. When one of his guys messes up, he sticks with him till the end. And that's his problem. He needs to take it easy. Man, if I was a girl, I'd be all over Chief. Tell him that when he comes back. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Chief really looks tired today. I'm kinda worried. so tired just because you had a bad dream. You never wake up with sore muscles from stuff you do in dreams, right? Man, I so want to punch you. Uh, shoot. Is this time already? When I break up with her, I need to keep my mind clear. Hey, Vincent. We're leaving now. All right. Take care. Still hanging around the bar? <laughs> we can't start this party without you. Now, come. Did, did I just hear something? Yes, I'm here! Were you waiting for me, Vincent? What? Uh, 
Why are you here? Hey, have you ever cheated on anyone, Vincent? Huh? Well, uh... I can't imagine. It's you, after all. I've cheated on someone before. But don't worry, I'm only seeing you. Uh... How do I say this? It's really strange that I feel this way. <laughs> do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm probably not making much sense. Well... Man, you're not talking much today. I'm just sitting here with some guy who's not saying anything. We're done talking today. Sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. I've been tired lately and I want to sleep alone. Uh, oh, then that's too bad. What? You're going home already? It's not like that, but... Thanks. Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me, are you? Looks like I was the only one hiding something. <sighs> Rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. I've heard it somewhere before. <sighs> Stupid as I am, I just have to give up and move on. Look, then. You know, I've got just the thing to cure your fatigue. Sorry. See you tomorrow? Rapunzel game anywhere else? No. Yeah, me neither. It's really old, and all our customers play it just out of curiosity. I saw Orlando and Johnny playing it the other day. They started fighting and blaming each other for messing up. Men who get hooked on stuff like that? <laughs> They're all just kids. And aren't the only ones who get hooked on games. Yeah, but it's different for us. Toby doesn't play it, though. He says he didn't get the appeal. Maybe Toby's just more mature than you guys. Him? He was only trying to act mature. Hey, aren't you going home yet? I've got plans tonight. What, what, after work? <laughs> Don't torment you. I have something to do. Oh, I see. I'm going to stay and drink some more. Good night.